in this episode <laughs> of Pritzel's Making Me Thirsty. And we're back in the UK, this time with Matty, Renzo, and the guys from Toy Division. This is BP Fair's NEC Toy Fair, or Toy Show. They actually have quite a few each year, but this is apparently the biggest one. And with 550 stalls and boots filled with vintage toys, we got a lot of ground to cover. Welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. Today we're over at the NEC and we're gonna get Jake in there. Let's go. Yeah. I didn't know there was more. Yeah. Getting dragged in by the toy. Oh my god. Actually worked. Ah, oh, that's awesome. It's in its pixel down. <laughs> Dude, all in have some amazing stuff here, man. I'm living this guy. This one? <laughs> this one? Yeah. yeah, Black Star. You're looking at some accessory bits? Yeah, I'm looking to fix up my attack yeah. color copy, you know, the, okay. the, 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 you know, the attack. And it's going to be on a new episode of I Made This? Eventually, yeah. eventually. <laughs> this is a, a lovely bouquet. <laughs> of, of knockoff goodness, right? So here I am having a lovely day together with Aaron, and all of a sudden there's some knockoffs popping up. So we have this cool Remco one. We got the Skull Man. I found this Sun Gold um, horror type toy here. Awesome. This is actually a soft head, so very fragile. Aren't you just dying to look like me? A little bit expensive, but I mean, I'm looking for that kind of stuff. I think Aaron's going for the Maddox Street Shark. It's actually the one I'm missing. Oh. You know what the body type is? It's obviously some sort of He-Man wrestler. Wrestler? Yeah. Looks like WWF, right? It does. Yeah. Dude. So, I mean, like, you want to do a Bundaroo? I'm my athlete. You want to try Bundarooing this up? Yeah, we, we found some lovely toys here. And uh, we kind of want to bundle it up. Is there, okay. like, wiggle room? Yeah, so, yeah. Shall we which all, all four? You want that one? I want that one. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can buy them all together or separately. Uh, we can just fund them together. Oh, right. okay. in, in the end, uh, you'll have that. all the money and we'll have all Let's the money. Let's see, so 160. <laughs> so 225 plus. Okay, so 160. I'll do that one for 40, so that's 200. Yeah. And I'll do that for 50. That's 250. Yeah. In total. Cool. Alright. Is that good for you? It's good for yeah. me. Yeah. I'll do it. I've been eyeing the sand down every time it's I come to your thing. Big prices. Alright. But I love them. <laughs> Super happy with that. Uh, I've been eyeing this up for like almost all year. They've had it at so many shows. Over here at Venture Toys, they just had an amazing colorful boot. This was right up my alley and I want to thank Ollie from I Made This for assisting with the camera because Maddie ran off. I don't know where. Maybe to find some Mighty Max. Do you have fun with video games? Yeah. Do you, you want to see what I bought? Yeah. We've got cameraman Aaron. Oh. oh. Wow. Wow. And you're never gonna believe this. Mm. Sir Scully. Sir, Sir Scully. Is the Skull Man. So, this Skull Man and Raven figure were actually part of the Remco Warrior Beast line, an early 80s toy line that was supposed to compete with the Masters of the Universe by Mattel, who were dominating the toy store shelves. It actually got to a lawsuit where Remco won, but their Warrior Beasts will still forever go down in history as knockoffs to most collectors. Now, my Skull Man is missing his red cape, which makes him so iconic. I might be looking at a repro for that. I'm looking for his bow and Craven. He is also missing his weapon. We must stop his evil power. You know, whenever anything is popular, Sun Gold has got to have their bootlegs and knockoffs on it. This line was simply called Monster from the early 90s and 
I just love this freaking figure. And maybe I did spend a lot of money on these knockoffs, but I've been looking for them for quite some time. Cool, man. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like really messed up and like, I was supposed to have that. Uh, I'm not Rinzo. No. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, snap. snap. <laughs> so do you ever get this feeling when you go to one of these toy shows and suddenly you're propelled back into your ute, you see this one toy that you're like, I had that. Oh, is this all bootlegs? Oh, I like me some bootlegs. More trolls here. Yeah. Dude. Ooh. And boy, was this one of those moments right when I picked up this Power Force Mighty Ranger. A some kind of, I guess, Power Rangers knockoff, but I love the way this dude looks. He's got a Cobra head sculpt on there as well. So. Very fun to finally find this guy back, and now I'm gonna be looking for more of this line. I've been looking for this one. How much you want for that one? Fiver? Yes, I'll do that. Perfect. Awesome. Here he is. How are you doing, buddy? Doing well? He brought Mighty Max. More Mighty. Oh, he's got like one of those knockoffs. Dude. Ben, bringing, bringing all the good stuff. I guess that's fate for you. What did you see? No, yeah. Ooh. Mini pocket beasts. That looks cool. Yeah. There's two. It's it's like a real mock-up of like the actual ones. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Sorry, Mike. Are they bootlegged or are they like yeah. a little bit knocked off? <laughs> like a bootleg is like a straight up like replication of the actual thing. A knockoff is like it looks like it, but it's got different sculpts. More of a knockoff, I think. Yeah. yeah. It looks cool. No fooling, Sherlock. Yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. artwork. Pretty cool. How much you got on it? Uh, it's 20 without the case. Yeah. Or that doesn't seem too yeah. bad, actually. I think it's a color variant. Yeah. Yeah. Because mine is black. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. How much is this one? Uh, I can't remember what it's got in there. Yeah. I'll check it out. It just doesn't have a, a max, I think. Yeah. It's just uh, the spider thingy and the little spider thingy. Yeah. How much do you want to buy? Ten? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Oh. What's that guy in there? This one? I don't know. Uh, he is from Botmaster. Okay. Complete as well. How, yeah. much, how much is a dreadhead? 25. 25? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, gotta think about that one. <laughs> 20, 10, 30, or how much? 25. 25? Yeah. So. Do you wanna do 15 keep the case? Yeah. yeah, 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 perfect. And I'll take the, the that one as well. Perfect. It's the only thing Mighty Max you got. Uh, you, there might be a couple more. There's a couple odd sets. Yeah, dotting around. Bought me some Mighty Max, some dreadits on card, the Spider One, but the color variant. Ooh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a little more brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the cream of the crop. Yeah. In the nice case, the you mini got bucket beast. A freaking bootleg on yeah. card. Yeah. Yes. It's awesome. Yes. I never thought Love I was it. gonna own a carded bootleg, but it's pretty. Now cool. I do. Yeah. Thanks to uh, Ben. Ben. So yeah. Thank you, Ben, for the great deal. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, I got much feel with gold. <laughs> We got some turds here. These look cool. I think it's like Godzilla. Hi, man. It is. How are you doing? Is yeah, from the '97 yes. movie, right? Those the baby Godzillas. Cool. Yeah. Matthew Broderick movie. Yeah, yeah. We spoke last year about yes, the Boglins, right? Yes, I have increased. You have increased. <laughs> I, I have improved. Wow. I love the color. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's the other um, the other dinosaur rock board, right? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. 
Rockasaurus. This one is called Spike Tone from back in 1986. He is one of the evil rock lords, as you know. This was part of the GoBots toy line. <laughs> Dana, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. How are you? Are you finally you? set up? Yeah, I'm finally set up. Got <laughs> a bit of a mare this morning. <laughs> I think he's ready for it. Are you ready for yeah, it? Yeah, man, I'm yeah. ready. Ready to make some good moolah to spend. How is the the um, hidden um, chest gaming? The hidden chest. I was gonna say the treasure oh. chest gaming. Yeah, hidden, hidden chest hidden gaming. How is it doing? Doing really well. You need to come around again because he's completely oh. changed since you last. Okay, well, and you have lots of games, so Maddie wants to come along. Yeah, might be for next year trip. But, yeah, definitely. Uh, we should do it. Definitely we should do it. Yeah. Sweet. So, you looking forward to the NEC today? I wish the Christmas one was on, but obviously this is going to be the last one this year. Okay. And then there's going to be three next year, so it should be good. Okay. It's awesome. always good, the NEC, it's always good to see you, Ed. <laughs> Thanks, man. It is sold, though, unfortunately, Ed, so don't run away with it. <laughs> Look at that! What? The turtles are here. How much you got on the skateboard? 500. 500? 500. 500. Hands dropped. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cool find, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this skateboard was definitely pricey, but what a sight to behold this freshly new in package skateboard with this beautiful Timothy artwork on it. Have you heard about these? Yeah. 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 Have you heard about these? I brought the ears. Have you heard about these? They're just over here. <laughs> But I've got some over here as well. Yeah. Okay, well, David, it's the yeah. So, anyway, he's been old enough for me on the Mighty Max. How was it all up? Yeah. Yeah. Senior yeah, man, so idiot. cool. <laughs> Senior. <laughs> <laughs> There's a link. There's a link? Yeah, yeah. 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 I like that thing, the monster yeah. wrestlers. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. We were passing by DNA Toys. I saw this thing that Andy picked up yesterday. And I was kind of looking at it. And my buddy here, he was like, yeah. you can have it. So, well, I love, thank I love, you so I love, much, I love man. this guy and his videos. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Cheers. Thank, thank you, man. Thank, thank you so much. Well. Okay. You have any questions? No. Or are you thirsty for more? <laughs> These pretzels. I'm making me thirsty. I don't like robot Fight for justice in a lawless cyber future. I don't like it. Why not? I'm more of a Robert Cup. <laughs> Robert Cup. Robert Cup. This guy, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it was because I'm overwhelmed, but the first run, I didn't end up buying anything, honestly. Cool, thank you. Um, something in me froze, and I was constantly like, I, I don't need this. How much you got on? It? One four five. One four five. I don't need to pay this for that. Box is a bit. Box is still nineteen eighty four. Bargain. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Cool piece, right? So when we did get to the end of her first run, I was just hoping that some of the things I was looking at earlier and still doubting were still there. Luckily, during the second run, I could also talk to loads of people and meet some of the YouTubers I've been watching for the longest time. Meet you finally. Yeah. Good yeah. to see you, my Good friend. To see you. You're more handsome in real life as well. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, mate. Man. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. How are, How you? are you doing? How is everybody okay? <laughs> Good. I've been yeah. waiting a long time. Yeah, man. Yeah. This guy. Nice Talk to guy. meet you, I've man. I've got something for you. I've got something for you as yeah. well. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay. Hold on. Let me get my All right. Now you have to sing the tune song. Retro ghetto. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this was turtles, yeah. Yeah, and then you have to get it in the newspaper. No, PG tips, tea bags. Tea bags. Okay, wow. We're English. Yeah, that's yeah, what we do. Yeah, 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 that's all yeah. we've got is tea bags. Tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't grow it, but we, wow. that's what the English do. We, we steal it and claim it as our own. So tea bags. <laughs> 1990. Wow. That's but this cool, comes man. with the cards and everything. Look, there's cards in here. So you used to get these in the, in the bags of tea. Okay. All right. So you get these in the bags of tea. But it's really nice condition though, all nice artwork. I mean, uh, I think you'd have to like, stick the cards in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. I don't have that yet. And then this is like a thing where you could send away, like a mail away. Oh, cool. Well, let's get the ones you didn't awesome, already man. have. Awesome, man. Yeah. Um, Dude. So yeah, that's for you, Ed. You're the turtles guy. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome, my friend. Awesome. 
Yeah. Mate, I thought I'd have to bring you something, but I didn't really yeah. have much. But you're a Super Nintendo guy, yeah? Yeah. I've got you the greatest ever Super Nintendo. It's, it's often regarded as the best. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going to do to Andy later? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say this one's Andy, but it's a man in pants and chains. I don't want to see Andy in there. <laughs> That's for you, the greatest ever game, so you can have that. Thanks, man. And uh, a coaster for your room. All right. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Put that in your room, innit? Can you sign it? Yeah. yeah. Can you sign this? No, do, do we have a, a, a pen or something? Uh, No, not with me. Yeah, Maybe I have one in my Good to meet you, man. And you. Awesome. Awesome. Shit, you spot your shuttle. You definitely never know what you're going to find over at the NEC. Even if it's a toy Hello. shop on tour, yeah. <laughs> How's it going, guys? But this is Slime House. He's got it all figured out, man. Oh, he got the time. little, he got the little thing here. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're here with the toys cam. How you doing, man? How's it going? It's going, doing good. I'm all selling. set up. Yeah, I'm selling. I'm selling over there, but it's uh, it's a little bit slow at the moment. But hopefully, oh, but it's it's crowded on in the other lanes, dude. Yeah. So it's gonna get crowdy over here as well. It's really busy, isn't it? It is. It's buzzing right <laughs> here. I guess we're all out here for the same thing. We're trying to find some toys, right? Yeah. How, how is that going for you? Okay, I've got bags and bags full of dolls. <laughs> I've got so many weird dolls. I'm a click mask. So I'm holding up. I'm look, I always want to upgrade my collection, <laughs> so I'm kind of looking for uh, anything boxed. I've got lots of stuff given me, okay. and I've got some good stuff. If I've got Ian Toy Monster's got a nice thing waiting for me, so yeah. I'm gonna go grab that when okay. I see him. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steps Barbie is what drew me in. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sell a few things. Yeah, yeah. To, and then you yeah, reintroduce no, 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 it. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Awesome man. Awesome to meet you. Hope you're enjoying the day. Always enjoying the day. All, right. all the better for seeing you as well, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice awesome one. Meet, man. Respect, bro. Every time. <laughs> it was so great getting to meet Paul, getting to meet Theo. He beat me to the punch and he already released his video on this convention as well as Retro Ghetto. His video is out already, so go and check it out, please. And then we met Gav. But yeah, you're, you're opening a new shop. Yeah. Yesterday we went to Lester's Spinach yes. Toy Shop. Looking great, but uh, yours yeah. is coming when? It is end of this month, October 28th. Okay, perfect. Retro D Toys. Oh. And this is one of the fun things I always do when I'm over in the UK for a convention. I try to pump in as many toy stores as we can, and that's what we did. So be sure to subscribe for more content, guys. So it's gonna be like a regular kind of kids' toy shop, but a really good chunk of vintage as well, because I can't do a shop without vintage, can yeah. I? <laughs> Oh, oh man. Man. well, I hope you have a fun time. I hope Thank we you. bump into each other and I hope you find some great stuff. Today. Awesome, you too. So, yeah. Are you done or are you thirsty for more? <laughs> These pretzels are making thirsty. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? I'm good. You, you want to hold the camera? Oh, Look what I found over here at this boot. It's actually a Mighty Max little handheld. Maybe like this. Yeah. And I know Maddie's been looking for this for the longest time, so I decided to grab it already and dangle it like the dog's dangly. The dog's dangly. It. <laughs> um, it's just 20. You want it? Yeah, I'll take it. Spotted that for you. Thanks, man. Yeah. Wow. I wasn't thinking I'm going home with this one today. Uh, but you are. Yeah. Unless he's like, no, dude, you gotta pay more to hear from Belgium. What? I suppose the time has come for you to hear the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's nice and clean. I'm not even gonna haggle. No. Nope. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Up? Thank you. Here you go. One happy begin. customer. Yeah. I've been looking for this one for ages. Oh. I came all the way from Belgium. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Just for that. Just for this one. Thank you very much. <laughs> and boy, is this Toy Fair crowded. There's so many people here. I remember last time seeing a ton of cool merchandise from TMNT, but today I'm just again not pulling the trigger or anything. Luckily, Josh from Into the Verse came to the rescue. So it's these sticker and card displays. Oh, oh, oh. what? Ooh. No, I don't. I don't think I've seen So them. they're heroes. This is like what used they were to in the shop. shops. Yep, so we've still got the prices on them. Um, and it's got like the cam. So I thought it was complete, but looking closely, it looks like whoever had it before me is obviously like to make oh, it not yeah, complete. Yeah. It's duplicated them. Um, so they're not complete. It's established. Not complete, but 
What's the price on it? Oh. That's tricky. I would, I would take, I would take thirty each. They go for that more than that. I'm gonna do fifty. The only ones I could do fifty for both. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Perfect. There you go. Um, I saw this and I was like, this has to be in my toys rooms. Yep. Yeah. It's going in there. Yeah. So cool. I will give you money. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. And honestly, these shop displays are going to look great in the toy room. Hello. Ah. All right. Yeah. How are you, you doing? Have you even been here today? I have been here today. I'm not, I've literally I've seen this guy for like five minutes. The whole day. Yeah. The whole day. Because I've been buying Remco. Mm. And that ain't everything. From Matt on card, I actually got this awesome, cool bootleg. This is one of the Turtle Fighters. Here's in a half shell. Definitely a bootleg, but a good one. Check out how creepy looking this guy is, but I love it. I didn't have this. I actually had one of the Splinters, I believe, but now, yeah, it's gonna look great in my knockoff shell. So thank you so much, Matt. Staying in the Turtles theme, I have to pick up this double-sided Thumbler glass from Ben from Bugsy's Toy Box. Thank you for the deal on this, buddy. There were definitely some great toys and some uncommon pieces here, but also games, and I actually picked up one that I need for my Game Boy collection. Didn't expect to sell games. You know what, normally Thanks, we man. don't. Appreciate you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very Thanks, much, man. man. I've been collecting Game Boy for the past 15 years, probably. I'm down to the last seven I need for a complete European and American uh, library. So I have around 600 and somewhat with variations in there, but right now, yeah, it's very difficult to find the last couple I need. There's a couple ones in there I know by heart, like Berlitz Translator or Wayne's World or Beethoven, but the, based on the doggy movie. But yeah, Open Air Mission was one I was missing, and so I'm pretty glad adding it to the collection, complete in box right now. Now, I'm not the only one that goes to these toy conventions looking for games. Retro Ghetto does it as well, but Renzo beat him to it. Renzo just went wild on the games this time around. It's the Renzo Ghetto. Hey. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, really fine. good. Yeah, good? Really good. Yeah. Huh? Real fine? Yeah, real fine. <laughs> These guys coming over here stealing our games. <laughs> did you find anything, Cal? You beat me to everything. What did you find? Well, what's in that bag everything. Here? Everything. everything. No. Renzo got all the good stuff. Yeah. Arthur has got what was left. Oh. Well, at least you got the memories. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rubbish, man. This is all I can find that Renzo hadn't already bought. This is the only game that Renzo hadn't touched yet. Yeah. Another toy line I was really drawn to over at this convention was the Ghostbuster stuff because it seems that the action figure kind of Slimer is more common over here. 65. It's in way better condition than the. That's true. Yeah. I don't know how much it was in the. Yeah. I do see it very often and wasn't comfortable at any of the prices that were out there, but there was an other ghost here that I really wanted to get my hands on. Oh, you got a bag? Yeah, yeah, I'll pop it in there. Thanks so much. <laughs> so, uh, Maddie. So this is 1987's real Ghostbuster Gooper Ghost figure called Squisher. The cool thing about this one is obviously the crazy and amazing sculpt and the fact that you can have slime or ectoplasm oozing from out his nose onto your slime heroes. We just picked this up from the Toy Planet. It's supposed to come with ectoplasm. Okay. But it doesn't, but I love the sculpts on these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, cool. they're like slime monsters and stuff. Yeah, it's um, just a Kinder uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. Got it from over at Toy Planet. Toy Planet. Toy Planet. They always have a good boot. Yeah, very nice people. How about that? How about that? We're in the void now. In the void. <laughs> We're in the void. Welcome to the bar. <laughs> What have you got? What have you got? Lego. What have you got? Lego. Pirate Lego. Lego. <laughs> whoop, whoop. What's happening here, man? <laughs> Round the back beers. No. Yeah. No no more beers. Beers. yeah, guys, this was just an amazing day. I got to see so many boots filled with vintage toys. I got to hang out with all of my friends over here, and I got to meet so many of you collectors that watch the channel as well. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. Unfortunately, we had to leave a little bit early because we had a train to catch back home to Belgium. We might actually have an Italy trip coming up. We're looking to come over to Italy, to Rome, to Toysini, and hopefully find some cool stuff over there. 
If that doesn't happen, then the first next one is going to be Toy Mania in Hulst in the Netherlands. That's one we're going to be at as well. That's going to be it for this little episode. But be sure to subscribe for more of our UK adventure videos that are coming out soon, together with Empire Toys, Annie's Toys and Models, Mr. Dan Plastic. Thank you so much, Toy Division, for taking care of us during this trip. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. And in the comments down below, you can leave whatever feedback you like. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. And I will see you in the next one. Also, we have Patreon and t-shirts and stuff. Just subscribe. It's all good.